Hi everyone, my name is James Ivey from TSR, Jivey Talks Tech, and quite frankly I am joined by keyboard greatness. This man is not only responsible for my first proper band back in Ipswich about a billion years ago, he's also responsible for me being into the band that is Toto, because this man introduced me to Toto 4. His name is Ago Forcella, and great mate, it's such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me, James. Um, I'm going to quote a few other sources at this point because um, I'm probably stealing somebody's thunder, so I apologise to G. LaPere, who put a video out on YouTube, a short. Now, his channel has 445 subscribers, but this video has 55,000 views, and it's how to make this sound. Now, for any of you who've been hiding under a rock for the last, was it was it Maverick a couple of years ago? Probably. Last, last year, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that is the sound that begins the Top Gun movies. Or it's one of the sounds, anyway. The Steve Stevens Top Gun anthem thing, which we all know is amazing and lovely, and I wish I could play like him. But I saw G. LePere's video and thought, I know someone who's got a DX7, which is down here, and I think he's got all the little upgradey packy cardy things which you have got i have because we've got, yeah, the, got one. the the rom yeah and the video said to get that fm bell sound is it's on cart number one patch at uh, side bank a, a bank, bank a, a yeah patch 26 and it makes this sound now this is the weird thing i'm going to flick over into pro tools briefly and i'm going to play this one this one this one Now, because this DX7 is an original from 1980... Um, 1980. Something, yeah. That's it. <laughs> this is 1980, fair enough. Um, we're, we're triggering it from the Arturia um, Keylab 49. Because we're not sure necessarily that the keyboard's going to function, hold out and be even and all that sort of keyboardy, old keyboard yeah, stuff. Yeah, needs, needs reconditioning. I mean, damn, it's only three years younger than me. <laughs> um, so we're triggering it from the Artura, triggering it via MIDI, and then you're hearing the audio. But that got us to thinking, Arturia also do a soft synth of the DX7, but which is better? And I think all too often we get all gooey and romantic and we have a soft spot for analog kit, and I know it's a digital thing, but organic yeah. kind of vintage, vintage, vintage stuff. Yeah. And actually, I want you to hear the difference between the vintage digital, vintage digital, who knew that would ever be a thing, and the software recreation, in this case by Arturia. So the first one you're going to hear is going to be the DX7, and then we'll play the soft synth. Yeah. Now, in this room, without the glory of YouTube compression and all those sort of horrible algorithms that wreck the sound, the DX7 sounds terrible. <laughs> um, there's so much noise and grit and all the other stuff that went into the DX7 Mark I algorithm. That's awful. The, the patch, the, the synth emulation, this one, in fact, the DX7, Sounds clean and lovely, and sonically, there is something different, isn't there? Yeah. It's so the the DX7, the original DX7 has uh, quite a low sampling rate. It's about twenty eight kilohertz. Right. Um, and uh, it's also got some very old technology uh, converters in it. So combination of those two basically means lots of noise, lots of aliasing, lots of kind of fairly, it's just crud that you get to hear over the top, um, which isn't filtered out in any way. Um, so if you've got a relatively kind of sort of mid bass sound, mm -hmm. um, you end up hearing all of that stuff, which is in a different, you know, it's at a higher frequency. 
uh, whereas the newer tech works at much higher uh, sampling rate, uh, much uh, deeper uh, bit depth as well, mm -hmm. and it just sounds a lot cleaner. It's a lot less distracting. You can actually hear the music rather than the noise. Now, there are plenty of times when we get all gooey about distortion, yeah. um, tape saturation, yeah. all those sort of things. We all go, but it's part of the sound. And there is the argument that says, yes, the hiss and that, that extra noise was part of the original track. Yeah, part of the character. But yeah. these days, we're all trying to make our recordings as beautiful and lush and as, as accurate as, per as possible. I See, I don't want to be the person who goes, get rid of all your old synths. But the library just sounds better. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> Although I have to say, as a, as a bit of a gearhead, I'd rather you did say get of all your old synths because it means I can buy them. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. The other cool thing, of course, about the controller, and in this case, we are using an Arturia controller with an Arturia library. They talk to one another, mm. not just controller to library, but backwards as well. This doesn't know, or we didn't tell it, we were using an Arturia library, but it's brought the preset name up and we've got all the parameters instantly mapped. I didn't know that it worked quite so seamlessly that way around. We haven't installed any drivers. Ago's just brought this board. We've plugged it in and gone, that's cool. That's new. <laughs> I'm not really sure what this video was for, but it was one of those, yeah. I heard this and thought that's a video. Yeah. Um, we mustn't get too, too hung up on stuff like, oh, we need the original this, we need the original that. We can't use virtual guitar amps, we need to use real amps, you know, all that sort of stuff. It comes down to, does it work in the mix? Do you have it to hand? Because if I didn't have a DX7 to hand, which I won't have when you leave, I have got the library. Yeah. Um, you're never going to hear that hiss in context, I suspect. No. Um, Again, I don't really know what this video was for, but I thought it was quite good fun, and I hopefully you find it quite good fun as well. And quite frankly, we're just messing around in the studio for the day, which has been great as well to catch yeah. up with an old buddy. Yeah. Um, Ago, thank you so much. Yeah, no, cool. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, well, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, all the normal stuff. We've passed the magic thousand subscriber mark. I'm not sure how we did it. Um, Hopefully things will continue to move on a pace now, which will be great. But for now, my name's James Ivy from TSR, Jivey Talks Tech and we'll see you again very soon.